Um, man, Dogecoin. First of all, let's talk about it. Cryptocurrency, Dogecoin, it's in the news, it's happening, it's here, it's now. Let me give you a rundown. Paige, do you know what cryptocurrency is? Yeah. Okay. Do you know anything about it other than what it is? Sure. Do you know how it works? No. Okay, perfect. So um, Dogecoin started back okay. in December of 2013. Okay. It started as a meme cryptocurrency. Bitcoin was taking off and Bitcoin was everywhere. Everyone was buying Bitcoin. And in 2013, uh, Billy Marcus and Jackson Palmer, they were programmers at IBM and Adobe mm -hmm. at the time. They created a meme cryptocurrency because they thought, why not? We know how to do it. Let's make it a joke. And that's what it became. So it was supposed to be the joke, the butt, the, you know, the, the butt of the joke, right? The joke of the internet kind of thing. And so then people started to notice, right? So people saw it and people of importance saw it. So we have Elon Musk enters the chat. Um, and everyone knows who Elon Musk is. Megs, how many Teslas do you have? Um, zero, but I should have one and you I'm not sure why I don't. <laughs> right. You should have one. And you, and, and why don't you? Um, because you haven't bought me one Because I haven't bought yeah. it yet. Okay. Right, we're still waiting on our right. Pelotons. And the Pelotons, yeah. yep. Oh, yes. yes we were be supposed coming. to get two of those. I forgot about Paige that. Paige needs yep. one, so now we need Paige three. Paige needs three. a Peloton, yep. so now I have to buy three. Got it. Yep. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so... The, so then Elon Musk got a hold of this and he basically said, you know what, this is, this is funny. This is irony. The joke becomes like the punchline. Like what's the, I don't know. That's not like the exact, the exact terms for it, but basically the irony of them creating this as a joke. And now it becomes something serious that we use every day. Mm -hmm. Um, and so basically Elon Musk has been using this and his micro influence. Speaking of Elon Musk, have you ever seen a Tesla commercial? No, I don't watch commercials. You don't watch commercials? Mm -mm. TV, Hulu, ads, YouTube, no. even on YouTube? No. See an ad video, you never see a Tesla commercial? You ever no. see one? He doesn't. Don't think so. Right, because they don't exist. Because oh. he himself is the commercial, mm -hmm. right? Elon Musk, every time he does something, whether it's a tweet, whether it's smoking on the Joe Rogan podcast, oh, whether yeah, yeah. it's a demonstrating the Tesla truck and the window breaking, every time Elon Musk does something, his stock prices go up or they go down and then they go back up again, depending on what he's doing, right? So Elon Musk is the marketing team behind Tesla, SpaceX, the boring company, all of his stuff. So it only makes sense that he is the marketing team behind Doge. Now, Dogecoin, he has he doesn't own he doesn't like own the company or the people behind it, right? These two programmers do. So he has no ownership in this cryptocurrency. Um, but then what happened was, and I'm sure, I'm sure all of us have heard right back in January, February, the whole GameStop stock market mm -hmm, issue. Yeah, yeah. That was a big thing. So now so along with that GameStop and a handful of other stocks, there's a nice picture of him with Miley Cyrus. I'm sure they love each other. <laughs> um, so 2021, January, February, um, crypto is booming, right? Since, since January of 2021, Dogecoin has gone up more than 12,000%. 12,000%. So if you put in a thousand dollars in January, now you would have $12,000. Mm -hmm. How insane is that? Mm -hmm. First of all, for a stock. Now, again, cryptos aren't stock. And I should say, and I should have mentioned this at the top, uh, check back at further episodes. We're gonna have our buddy Joe. Joe knows so much, so much about crypto All of it. and, and, and everything going on in that space. So Joe's going to come on here and he's going to explain exactly what the blockchain is, what crypto is, why it's important, why you should have it, etc. Um, so I, we're not going to deep dive into the definitions of crypto here in this episode. So that'll come a little bit later. So we 